On the farmlands of America, the Depression was destroying a way of life that had flourished for generations. The prices of farm products had fallen to their lowest level in decades. Hundreds of thousands of farmers were losing money and falling ever more deeply into debt. By 1933, when Roosevelt took office, farmers were desperate and starting to organize. In the Midwest, they staged violent demonstrations. They blockaded highways, they invaded state capitals, and they threatened a national farm strike. They've driven me out here to do what we're doing. I can't keep my family and live like a man should live. And there's two things that'll make a man or beast fight, hunger and protection of your offspring. Farmers everywhere were demanding action from Washington. It worried Roosevelt greatly that if uh, something wasn't done swiftly uh, and dramatically to uh, remedy the situation in the countryside, there might very well be revolution in rural districts. The issue that created the most desperation was foreclosure. With no money to pay their mortgages, thousands of families were losing their farms. It just, just devastated them. Whole families. You can imagine, here's your home. It's not only your business, but your home. The threat or the fear of losing one's farm is, is, is the most uh, serious uh, emotional and economic crisis of the Great Depression. And it's what creates so much of the fear, so much of the militancy. On April the 27th, 1933, just weeks after President Roosevelt's inauguration, farmers in Lamar's, Iowa, infuriated by a wave of foreclosures, invaded the local courthouse. The judge, Charles Bradley, had signed dozens of foreclosure orders. The crowd demanded an end to it. The judge refused. And so they dragged him off his bench and took him to the edge of town, where they threatened to hang him if he didn't agree to their demands. And as one of them told me, one of the things they did was pull down his pants and fill them with mud, threaten him with castration, and they got a truck, truck hubcap and put it on his head so the grease ran down over his face. One farmer grabs a long piece of rope and they make it into a noose and they threaten to hang him. Here are these Republican Protestant Iowans. They are threatening to hang a sitting judge. Finally, one man begged the crowd not to do it, and the judge was released, though they did leave him beaten up and bleeding by the side of the road. The very next day, the governor of Iowa declared martial law. The Bradley episode hit Washington like a shockwave. There was a real fear that a rural revolution might begin. The insurgency of farmers helped to quicken the feeling in Washington that something had better be done and be done right away. In Washington, everyone agreed that...